Some people love to eat lamb and some people don't. Uh, if you do eat lamb, please buy it from a responsible farmer. Find out who he is. If you go to Hudson and Charles, they'll tell you. They'll even show you his website. And you can call him up if you want. Uh, and of course, when you buy any sort of meat, always remember to... So we're just gonna make a super simple lamb. Now this is on the grill. You don't need the grill. Uh, you can do it in the oven. Lamb cooks very quickly. These are slightly thick, they're not that thick, but they have a fat cap, which is very good if you're broiling them slower, but not so good if you're broiling them fast because you have to render that, and rendering, of course, takes a minute. So I'm just gonna very gingerly trim some of this fat off, but only a little bit, because you, you need some fat. I mean, if I was in a French restaurant, they would fire me, but... What was the first movie you saw that you were, had a funny feeling about the, the, the gender that you like. Like, what was the first movie where you were like, oh, like that? For me, it was Oliver Twist, hands down. <laughs> Oliver Reed in Oliver. To this day, that character is a big trigger for me. I would say Dirty Dancing. Oh, really? Patrick Swayze? Just, no, just... Is that the whole thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like Boys? Might have been Jessica Rabbit. Oh, yeah, that's you're not alone. Yeah. I'm just going to salt and pepper these while I'm preparing the marinade, which is made from yogurt. So you might think to yourself, how strange. Trust me. Lamb cooks um, really swiftly. So it's, it's great for dinner parties because you, you can fire it basically when everybody's there. It takes about three minutes per side, if that, depending on how big they are. You want to serve it rare, not raw. So I'm just gonna put these aside for a second and I'm gonna make some spiced yogurt. You might think, what's the yogurt gonna do on the grill? Well, what it does on the grill is, first of all, it disappears visually, and secondly, it browns. You won't even know there's yogurt on here when we cook it. So I'm just gonna put like, maybe a little more than that. You want them to be pretty, pretty coated. And uh, you're gonna marinate this Overnight. Now you don't have to use a food saver or a chamber vacuum sealer. A little salt and pepper in the yogurt. And now I'm just gonna put curry, curry flavors. Like I always tell you guys, make curry powder once in your life. Go to a store and look at a bag of curry. This is organic curry. For instance, coriander seed, turmeric root, cumin, sea salt, fenugreek seed, cayenne, ginger. All they did was put this in a grinder. So once in your life, make it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of curry in here to sort of give it some yummy flavors. Stirring, stirring, stirring. This is cumin seed. Little cumin seeds, goes really good with lamb. This is a favorite thing. This is masala, which is a little bit spicy. So I'm gonna be careful with this. Chief is an excellent brand. I'm gonna taste this because you don't do anything without tasting it. Look at my super cute new little tasting spoons. Smaller size. Delicious. A little more curry. Oh, that's so good, I could eat that. My God, good job, Randall. <laughs> good God, good job. And I'm gonna slip them in this bag. I'm gonna use a food saver. You don't have to use a food saver. So I'm gonna dip them in here like this. This is how much you want, guys. Like, no joke, fact. Um, you wanna be careful with bones with a food saver because sometimes um, the bones can pierce the bag. I pierced the toast. Oh God, I pierced the toast. Somebody has to hold this. Can you, can you hold this? Reggie Bettencourt, ladies and gentlemen. sort of massage this into the whole thing, including the bone if I can. Now, what's the problem with a food saver? It sucks the moisture up. Um, you have to kind of jigger around with it, or the moisture will come up and ruin the seal. So here we go. Now I'm gonna try to stop this from moving up. Ah, oh, there it goes. 
it's not vacuum sealed, but oh well, it's sealed enough to push it in. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight. Three hours minimum. This lamb is marinated overnight. So I'm gonna let it come to room temperature, which we know is the fancy word chambray. Uh, and then I'm gonna take it out to the grill. Remember, it only takes about three minutes per side and has to rest for about four minutes. Let's go to the grill. So I have the searing section on and then I have a less hot area. Shake off the excess, but don't, you don't have to clean it. I'm gonna sear it. I'm gonna start the timer, three minutes. So you remember, you never lift something unless it lifts easily, especially on the grill. That's completely stuck. So you wanna, you never wanna pull it, especially like fish and that's the mistake people make. It'll seal and then you can flip it. Don't pull it before it's ready. Hello, hello. Oh yes. I'm gonna move them to the slightly less hot part of the grill. Three minutes and we're done. But the lamb should rest. Don't forget that part, it's important. So you see how beautiful this is? I mean, what a lovely color it is. I'm just turning it to make crisscross design. So I can tell that's very rare, which is fine, but I'm gonna go over the three minutes. Rare, medium, well done. I'm gonna loosely tent it in tin foil when I bring it in. Okay, these are coming in. Bibim, bibim, bop. If you're in a jam, make some lamb. It's actually very easy. People consistently overcook it, but it's very easy. So this is just our beautiful lamb chops. I would serve them with uh, raita, which is plain yogurt with chopped dill and cucumber, delicious. Um, and some sort of grilled greens in the middle. People will go through them, so buy a lot. Lamb. We can't thank you guys enough for watching our show, watching the shorts, watching the full episodes with your incredible comments and your joyful praise that buoys us up. We can't thank you enough for that. If you haven't subscribed, why not subscribe? You don't have to, but why not? And if you are a subscriber, apparently you're supposed to push this bell now, which I didn't know. But anyways, thank you for your support, you guys. We love you here at Dinner Party tonight. Hooray! If you're in a jam, make some lamb.